I did a video a little while ago which compared the GPU video acceleration of the GTX 1050 Ti versus the GTX 1650 Super while using Filmora Video Editor. Since making that video I have upgraded to the Ryzen 9 3900X so we've now gone from 6 cores 12 threads to 12 cores 24 threads. We also have higher boost clocks. So assuming Filmora Video Editor is able to take advantage of all this extra CPU power, we should see some huge performance increases. Or at least I hope so. So I'm going to run a few tests and I'm going to use this video that I made a little while ago. It runs for about 10 minutes and it's got lots of titles, effects and edits and so forth. So it should be a good test of the new hardware. So let's have a look at the hardware. It's a nice clean build, very good airflow. And this is the motherboard that I'm using, which uh, I believe to be one of the best budget ITX motherboards around. And this is the SSD that I'm using. It's a Samsung Evo 970, one of the fastest and most reliable on the market. And finally, the GPU, which is the GTX 1650 Super by Paylit. A big shout out goes to AMD for supplying this review sample. Okay, that's not exactly true, but who knows, maybe one day if enough people subscribe to my channel, I might get some review samples. Who knows? So, moving on. Here are the results of the Ryzen 5 3600 setup, the same setup that I used in the first video. The source is the new build video, which is 4K and runs for 10 minutes, and the export is HEVC 50 frames per second at 30,000 kilobits per second. Using the Ryzen 9 3900X with the render preview at full quality, we shave off a substantial 47 seconds, so that is a really, really good start. Render preview with the GPU acceleration disabled, we only shave off 10 seconds. So it looks like Filmora isn't actually fully utilizing the power of the 3900X. But I'd imagine exporting at 1080p, we're going to see much, much better results. Oh, okay, okay. So that wasn't great, but 4K, 4K export. This is where we're gonna see the biggest difference. So here we go. Three seconds, is that it? So does this mean we're GPU limited? Let's have a look at 1080p and 4K with the GPU acceleration disabled. It's got to be a little bit better than that. Well, it's slightly better, but it's not £450 worth better. So what's going on here? It looks like Filmora just isn't able to fully utilise all the CPU power and GPU power when rendering a video. Now, while exporting, it is able to fully utilize the GPU. So maybe the GPU is the bottleneck, while in other areas, Filmora just isn't capable of fully utilizing all of those CPU calls. So in an attempt to get better performance from Filmora, I purchased the RTX 2060 KO. Now, this has 50% more memory. The memory runs faster. It's got far, far more CUDA cores. We have the TU-104 die from the RTX 2080. It is a cut down die, but it's substantially faster. So we should now see some impressive improvements. So an extra 750 pounds worth of powerful hardware, the Ryzen 9 3900X, the RTX 2060 KO. So let's see what the results are. Oh. Okay, okay, keep calm. This is not all bad. Let's have a look at the 1080p export. Damn it. Is that it? Surely the 4K one's going to be better. Ah, oh, come on. So after all this time and effort, I've managed to save myself 9 seconds on 4K export. So after all of that, was this really worth all the effort? Well, obviously yes, because we've made a video out of it and we've proven that the Ryzen 5 3600 and the GTX 1650 Super is really a very, very good optimal setup for Filmora Video Editor. And I'm pretty sure that the RTX 2060 KO will find a good home. And well, as far as the Ryzen 9 3900X, I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps me and the channel. If you've got any comments or suggestions, stick them in the comments below and I will try and answer each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.